if we can lay it flat across the vehicle roof, then we got a chance of hauling this thing around. Problem is, this crane doesn't exactly have that level of fine degree of movement. Okay, this might work. <laughs> ah, see, it wants to fall off at the slightest bump, and unfortunately there's a lot of bumps there. Actually, can I just lift you? I can. Mm, not quite. <laughs> Hydrate or dihydrate. <laughs> Pretty much. Actually, yeah, you know what? I think we can just muscle this thing into position. Maybe I was overthinking this. Yeah, there we go. All right. All right. This will be fiddly because we do need to get this there intact. But now that we've proven it's possible to simply drive the vehicle with the control mechanism, or the alarm mechanism, all we gotta do is get there. The ultimate upgrade to help this, duct tape. Yeah, no kidding. That'd be a great mod. Alright, perfect. I can imagine me just, like, holding onto it with one arm and driving with the other. Like that Seinfeld bit about seeing people driving home with a mattress. Like, they've got one arm reaching out of the car up onto the roof. So if this big thing just falls off it... I got it! I got it! Alright. Beautiful. Perfect. Worthy of gone in 60 seconds. Now... So I think we've got the picture got the picture here. We got the car over here, that's going to be our first one. Zip it up through here. We'll probably want to take it over here, get it there. Get these cars in, get this car in, get that car in. Now we will want a we'll want a transfer vehicle to get back out here quickly. So unless No 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 we will we will definitely want that. So is there a is there another car on the map we can use? Presumably out by the uh, showroom. Here. Eh, it's kind of in the way, that's okay. Yeah, I think this will work. Alright. So, yeah. Start here. Take that over here, get these in whatever order is convenient. Grab this, take that to here, drive that in, run over here, take that there. I think that'll work. But, before we do that... One last crane yeeting. Let's see how high we can get this bastard. Come on, now. Damn it! Get up on the damn roof! I want to yeet the crane one more time. There we go. Alright, where you at? Here we go. Alright, let's see if we can pull you straight skyward. Yep. Alright, now! Now, 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 now! Yeet! Yes! Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that fucking hang time. <laughs> oh. I love this damn game. Okay. Mm. I think we're ready. So, let's do this. One and a two and a three. It's crab time! <clears throat> ah, shit. Are you serious? We got stopped by some rocks. Alright. Oh! 
<laughs> Damn it! I forgot to cut the car loose. <laughs> uh, of course. You know what? Long as I'm here. There! Enjoy your lack of satellite, asshole. <laughs> Eliminate the rocks, just in case. Yeah, good idea. Everything above ground is our enemy and not to be trusted. And... Oh yeah! Looked like the shiny I could get for a minute, but no, it's just... Just glass. Oh, it came from up there, that's where. Fair enough. Wait a minute, wait a minute, whoa, 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 whoa. Why did you not blow up? That's better. Okay, I think it just unmoored the rock, and that's, uh... Hmm. Alright, if you don't want to blow up, we're gonna get you out of here the old-fashioned way. By that, I mean that way. Alright, that should be clear enough. Now we're ready to party. One and a two and a three. It's crab time! Nope. Little surprise that recovered. Alright. Oh, shit. Come on. Oh. Got a transfer vehicle. Might have just enough time for this. Alright, come on, Barbie car. Let's go. Oh yeah! That's the shit. Go on at 57.8 seconds. Eat it, Nick Cage. Yours was the inferior remake and we all know it. Yay! Oh, I never actually saw the original. It was memorable, however. Alright. New tool has been delivered. Don't mind if I do. Hey! We finally got cable! Awesome! Now I can watch Deep Space Nine the way it was intended. Alright, uh, what else is going on? Who assures there's nothing to worry about? Okay, noise at Villa Gordon. This is typical of people who simply don't understand racing. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Yeah, I forget who was in it, to be perfectly honest. Blue Tide, it's a lifestyle. Uh -huh. Anyway, it's kind of like the, um, uh, what was it? it's kind of like Ocean's Eleven, in that everybody kind of remembers that there was an original, but it's kind of been, sub it, it's kind of been replaced in the collective consciousness by the remake. And honestly, I do think the, uh, the quote-unquote new Ocean's Eleven, the more recent one, is honestly the better of the two. Like, everybody likes the Rat Pack. I don't know that anybody really likes that particular film. It's, yeah, it was a Rat Pack film, yeah. I, it felt like it was more... It, it's been ages since I saw it, but it, it felt like it was more just a vehicle for the characters rather than something that was pretty particularly well put together. But anyway, on to Hollow Rock, which is... Actually, wait. Want to upgrade some stuff? We can now. So, let's upgrade some cables. We'll want to get more of these. We'll upgrade the bombs next, I promise. Rat exploitation, pretty much, yeah. I mean, entertaining, don't get me wrong. I remember liking it decently, but yeah. The Clooney one was definitely a lot better. But anyway, yeah, we are on to a new location. Hollow Rock Island here, which is kind of this interesting little island area that's been converted into sort of a industrial plant. So yeah, steal computers from Parisa to investigate lease payments from Blue Tide. Let's take a look. Mm. 
Alright, so we got a whole new area to plunder. Let's take our time with it. But first, let's get a lay of the objectives here. So yeah, we've got a laptop computer there. Laptop computer under the stairs. Desktop computer, second floor. In that uh, little greenhouse area. And over here in kind of this small village area, we've got a laptop, another desktop, and a desktop. So we got to haul out three desktops and... Or four desktops and two laptops in a span of 60 seconds. A lot of work, so let's get to it. So yeah, Blue Tide is kind of the nebulous bad guy corporation that is mostly known by the energy drink they make. Oh, come on. Get out of there. Seriously? Alright, I'll see this. I tried to be delicate, but you weren't cooperating. And there are some interesting little details here that aren't just uh, flavor elements. Like, there are actually things in this lab that are not obviously explosive that do explode if you mess around with them. I think it's actually here. Or possibly on the top floor. Alright. Dual line telephone. Nice. That would have been fairly high tech for its time. Hey, PJ, BJ, welcome to the show. First time on this particular map, we're just taking our time looting the place. I think that's it. I think that is nitroglycerin. So if we shoot it, it will or mess around with it too much, it will explode. In fact, that will demonstrate. Oh yeah. So. Handy if we need an explosive in a pinch, but we're pretty well apportioned there. Mostly something to watch for if you're just slinging explosives around carelessly. Which I definitely do not and have never done. And don't let any video evidence to the contrary convince you of that. Alright, so that's one of them right there. In fact, while we're here, if I recall right... The preferred method was to have this be the last one since it's closest to the boat and run out through the laboratory here. So let us make a nice big hole right here. Nonsense, Kren! I am the pinnacle of safe and responsible handling of explosives. One hundred percent ethical and well-trained use of demolitions equipment. All right. So, yeah, that will go right there. And we can make use of this here crane. Thankfully, we don't need to fish anything complicated out of these here. Places. We just need a step ladder. Of sorts. That'll do nicely. All right, let's check out the warehouse here. Now the laptop, I think, is down in the basement. But let's search for grabbables as before. I know that's not a word, but roll with me here. Call them yoinkables. There you go. It's hard to escape that feeling you're overlooking something. Because yoinkables do flash, as we previously discussed. And if you're in a hurry when you go through an area, you might miss them. Okay, there is a laptop in this room. So what I'm going to do... See, if you get the hinge points, you can pull the door off, but you run the risk of that getting stuck in the wall. There we go. 
All right. Now, if I remember right, my preferred route was to start here, here, here. Actually, wait. Start here, 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 here. Then boat over to here, grab that, grab that, grab that, and then get out. So, let's see how quickly we can make this. Let's, uh... Make us a nice little hole in the stairs right here. Damn it! That was too nice of a hole. So we need to be a bit more precise. Let's use a smaller explosive here. Aw, oh, thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. There we go. Okay. So now we can grab that. All right. Everything is locked. Not anymore. All right, so we do have kind of a... Hey, there's some stuff. Extra potent plant nutrition. Awesome. Perfect. You want to make some sci-fi plant monsters. Fungamax synthetic yeast. Nice. Synthetic from what? Don't ask. All right, there's that. So, from here, we will defenestrate. Hey, <laughs> don't worry about it. Hey, Kenbird676, welcome to the channel. Good to have you. All right, so yeah, we will grab this and bounce on out the window here. Actually, wait, no. Because, yeah, we will be coming in hot from this direction. And we will want... Yeah, yeah, there's all sorts of hidden stuff here. In fact, thanks for the reminder about the roofs. I keep forgetting to check that in this map. Uh, nothing up here, sadly. That's a shame. Oh, well. Anyway, yeah, so we need a way to get from the boat, which we'll be taking, up to here. Which is a bit of a problem, because there's a cliff face near the greenhouse. Is there anything in here worth grabbing? Don't think so. I have an idea. First, let's make sure this here lighthouse is free of stuff. I'm going to grab that TV. Thank you. <laughs> Not a bad idea. A lot of doors are locked, and you'll have to bust them open to be sure. But not all of them. And not even all of them of the same type. A little inconsistent there. Okay, this is going to cost a lot of explosives. We might just have enough, however. If not, I will use the C4 for what I have in mind. So, let's say... Alright, good, 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 good. I want this thing to fall in a very precise direction. You. Now, we do this. This will probably cost all of my explosives, but eh, whatever. The spectacle, people. Just think of the spectacle. All right. Timber! Shit, it's going the wrong way. Wait, no, here we go. It's correcting. Yours! Yours! Okay. 
Less dramatic than I was counting on, but this might still work. So... Let's see if we can put you out. Actually, can we still use the stairs? I'll bet we can. Uh, only to a point. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, we'll have to bust through. That's alright. Perfect! Hey. Alright. Not exactly ideal, but eh, I think it gets the point across. Let's we'll see if we can build a stable path there. They'll fix it up. It's not like boats regularly use it for navigation or anything. Alright, let's get that out of the way. <laughs> How'd a light be working? Magic! Nineteen nineties tech is indestructible. Alright, so there we go. The irony is if the light was visible from sea, it probably would still work in that sense. It's just they'd get this the the the, the, the Incoming ships would obviously see something was amiss, but it would still technically be visible, sort of. So when you think about it, I'm not really doing any serious thing. I'm not doing anything seriously wrong. You don't understand. I'm doing this for my. I'm doing this for family business. That justifies all my actions. All right. So this is. Oh no 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 no! Damn it. Okay, so yeah, down through here, grab this, then out through here, and then we gotta get in there. This we use the C4 for. So here we go. To safe distance, and Shibuze, now. I'm not gonna waste to shave off time here, but I think that'll be okay. All right, so that goes over here. You like this? And then we got to get through here. Up through here. And that's the end point there. Uh, I'm gonna turn around there. It's not going to start any fires. We don't need to. There we go. Outstanding. Now. Now let's get to the meat of the level. These tiny little shacks here. Anything grabbable? I see that. Yes. Oop, come here. Synthetic tar. I can totally use that for my for the stuff I'm working on. We'll be breaking doors soon, don't you worry. Uh, let's see. Nothing else in there. Fishing gear. This area is fun for one particular thing to demonstrate. Precision fishing scale, nice. We'll do that as I'm about ready to wrap up. Uh, we will be... Focusing on a clean clear for the moment. Well, relatively clean, minus the toppling the lighthouse thing. Alright. King here, no. Alright, there's a desktop there. Yay! I usually go for about half an hour, so probably I'd say as soon as I finish this mission. Hey, thanks for the follow, I appreciate that. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We will. To have to tunnel through here. Yeah. <laughs> Honorable thief speed run, no cheating, some cheating. Exactly. I am sort of a principled thief here. This is how criminals justify their behavior. Say, I, I do this, but at least I don't do that. 
Okay, so that goes to there. Very good. Okay. Well, yeah, we can give it a try. Alright, let's make an adjustment. Yeah, I guess it's not that bad. One fun upgrade you get late in the game is nitro boosters that you can stick onto any vehicle. So basically, they make just about anything go faster. You can stick more than one of them on the same vehicle. So potentially you can have, like, a dump truck. It's just... Look like it's a rocket lifting off and just tear ass around the map. It's great. It, it doesn't, like, completely break the physics, but it does get things moving faster than they were really intended to move. Alright. Portable FM. Thank you. Alright, so we're going to want a hole here, because the desktop is down there. <laughs> I steal thousands of dollars worth of stuff, but I don't kill people. Exactly! It's the logic of Garrett from Thief. I mean, you know, Garrett can kill people with his, you know, with, with his sword and blood and such, but, you know, he doesn't go in doing it, which makes it okay. Alright. So now we can get down there. Hop in the boat. Actually, let's get the boat here. There we go. Let's see. We want to save up on the shotgun ammo. As much as we can. There we go. Suck on a fishing knife. Perfect, perfect. An expensive fishing knife for 50 bucks. Exactly. Garrett himself says he's the thief, not a murderer. <laughs> he's a thief, but a murderer. Yeah. Got this air purifier. Alright, that's a locked door. And yeah, we'll just cut our way through it. Alright, beautiful, beautiful. So, where was I? I was on the other side of the map. I mean, that's just a public service. Really, they should be thanking him for dealing with the undead. It's not like the Hammerites were taking care of the problem. There we go. Out you go. Oh yeah, I thought so. High-speed labeling device. Shit, yeah. Just label all the stuff I stole. And where I stole it, you know? Not even gonna use it for practical purposes. I just want to keep it. Alright, now. We will want to put a hole here, because we're gonna be running through here. So, yes, yes, this, is, this will work perfectly. Actually, wait. Why work harder than I have to? I see another crane out there. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright, we'll throw a plank on there so we can easily get up in a hurry. There we go. Okay, now that goes in there. This is some very dense construction, so it's... Very easy to kind of get turned around. Grab another TV, why not? See, the other TV I grabbed was old, so we had to grab a second TV that's nice. You want one for your bedroom and for your living room, obviously. Alright, alarm clock, that's good, I broke mine. Yeah, this is another example of an area that just has remarkable density of detail and just the sheer number of places you can go into that look like valid living space. Like, they all have... They, they all look like they have a function. Everything here feels like it's 
purposeful. Even if it's not necessarily something you would use, it feels like it belongs here. Okay. I don't think there's anything in these, but no harm in checking. Alright. So, this... Yeah, we'll bust a hole in the wall here. Fall too far. I want you to not trip the alarm too early now, that's fine. Alright. So, what's left? We do have to get that ready. There's also a store over here we can loot. Fuck yeah, let's grab another cash register. Took one from the marina, now we need another one. We're a struggling small business, we need this stuff. Blue Tide Extra Strong, and limited edition, nice! Alright. Okay, then there's the mansion up here. I'm assuming belongs to someone that works here, or possibly whoever it is that owns the island. There are some nice things in the house, and one very nice thing down in the basement. That we might not be able to get to just yet. Just trying to be thorough. Uh, let's see. In fact, I think that is the door down to the basement. Alright. So here's the thing. This is a vault door. We cannot open this door or tunnel around it. So we can't quite red faction our way through this. This is one of the few indestructible materials in the game that is above ground. In fact, I'll blast it real quick and I'll show you. Because there is something inside we'll want. But we're not going to be able to get to it directly. So yeah, inside the vault. Right there. That's gold, baby. And if we can get to it, it's a shit ton of money. However, I don't think we can get to it just yet. Time to perform some evil. Take the milk out of the fridge and put it down on the counter. <laughs> oh, God, that would be cruel. Alright. So, yeah, we can't get into the vault directly through there. I assure you the cage runs around the entire perimeter. Even if you flatten the building down to its foundation, you cannot get into the vault directly. There is a way in... It requires a bit of jank. It def you definitely need the planks. And maybe the blue side? I'm not sure. We Later on, you do unlock a... Uh, y y you do unlock, basically, an energy drink that lets you run faster and jump higher and such. Which is a big help in getting through stuff like that. But it is a very fussy process, and we will be back, so it's not a huge problem if we cannot get to it today. Alright. There's that. We are good. Binoculars. Beautiful, beautiful. Although, honestly, we got like 1300 bucks. We're pretty good in cash. Anything up here? No. Wait. Was I flashing? Slashing. Nope. Oh well. Alright, just a couple more houses here to loot and we'll get cracking. In fact, this is the last thing we need to set up. So this is probably where we'll start. Then we'll run over here, grab the laptop here. We'll need a quick way to get over here. We'll work on that in a sec, but let's punch a hole through here first. Roommate just got a bowl of eggnog-flavored ice cream and then put syrup on it. Oh, God, that sounds nasty. Like, I don't mind eggnog. It's not really my favorite thing. But that does sound just too sweet. I feel like that would... Yeah, like Octal says. I feel like that would give you diabetes. Okay. Let's walk this through carefully. Alright. So go through here. Drop down. Grab this. 
Then we need a way up through there. Alright, that'll do. So we run up through there, over here. Actually, we might not need that crane at all. Let us blow this out. That'll do. Let's just run a plank over it. you out of the way. Alright, grab this. All right, let us mark our path here. Grab that. And out through here. Grab you out here. The dogs made me do this on some wall to throw off suspicion. You know what? All right, let's do that real quick. We'll, we'll put that. We need a big enough wall. In fact, we'll do that on the mansion. We'll say. Yeet. All right. Go. All right. There we go. Uh, Kensington trackball. It's relatively new. I don't. I replaced the old one because it was having this exact reason. All right. The dogs. Made me do this. A little janky, but I think it gets the point across. So, yeah, here we go. Down here. Get that. Out here, onto the boat. Sail across. We'll just say land hereabouts. Up through here. Exactly. They won't know to blame anyone else. Down here, grab you, out through the window. No one will suspect the cats until it's too late. All right, grab that. <laughs> nice zero. All right, is that? And out through there. So I think that's everything. So, so there, 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 there. Jet over here. To there, up there, through here, through there. It's a lot of running around on foot, more than I'd like, but unfortunately this area is just not very conducive to vehicles. Boss Coffee's gonna get me through this. It's crab time! Alright, so far so good. A bit too slow. Yeah, maybe we can make this work. Yeah, I think I need to shave off time somewhere. No, well, maybe. No. Shit, damn it, forgot this. Ah. 
A little too focused on the timer running down. Okay, didn't quite work. We need a way to save some time here. And I think I know just where to do it. Yeah, exactly. This boat, however, will not. Oh, just a personal challenge. Like I said, the grappling hook is a modded in weapon, so I'm trying to keep the challenge more or less intact. Exactly. Honorable thief speed run. <laughs> Some cheating. A little bit. A little bit of cheating. Okay, let's try this again. One, eight, a one, eight, a two, eight, a three. It's crab time! Might be just faster to find another way to cross. But let's see where we get. There may be other ways we can shave time off. There we go. Oof, oof. Maybe we got this. Fuck yeah, 1.1 seconds. <laughs> oh man. Like I said, there are almost certainly better ways to do that. Like I think another way I did it was to start on this end of the island, or, or start on the other end of the island and then work here last and then work one of the Yay! few cars over here and then just jet it to my boat. But it's open enough that you can find some degree of flexibility in your approach. And God, I just love that Taking out the lighthouse worked as a means of crossing the water. Ah, uh, that was fun. Let's see what awaits us. Ballistic, nice. You've reached a new rank, a new tool's been delivered. Oh, is it time? Oh, ho, 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 ho. yes! A rocket launcher. Legitimate demolitionist's hardware. This is absolutely the kind of thing that a... Model citizen and local businessman would have, and not someone that belongs to a militia. <laughs> a rocket launch here. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, this is foreshadowing that we can yeah build a portable shed. So one mission is going to have us try to protect something from water before... Uh, as we move it around. Basically, we need to dunk stuff in water, but once we do, an alarm will sound, so we need to protect it just long enough to do it. This is kind of teaching you to be creative in this stuff you find. Some basic tools and some craftiness. Your swordfish can... <laughs> a wall but no hole? We play with explosives. <laughs> See, this is the kind of quality home entertainment I, I enjoy. I feel catered to with this. Thank you, you can do it. Anyway, let's see what's waiting for us. All right. Hey, I just got this awesome idea for humiliating Gordon. You know that ridiculous, undersized racetrack he keeps in his backyard to pretend being a race driver? Wouldn't it be funny if he came home to a new track record on that display? You a decent driver by any chance? By the way, those paintings you helped me with earlier? They didn't make it through the thunderstorm. Burned up every single one. What are the odds? My only comfort is that at least Gordon doesn't have them either. God, just... They're completely oblivious. I love it. Just, this is... Just a perfect tit-for-tat situation that we are poised to take advantage of. I edited the text file, saved from my game, so I had enough money to upgrade everything. <laughs> okay, the claims from Gordon keep coming in. I'm not new to this game and suspect he's trying to pull a trick on us. I think the best solution would be if he took his problems elsewhere. If we could just get rid of his, if I could just get rid of his insurance papers, poof, like that, he'd be gone. He keeps the papers in one of his safes. Top of the line Kilez safes, very sturdy and virtually unbreakable. Trust me, he bought them on our recommendation. But they have one weakness, no, not waterproof. So yeah, this is the, this is what we were talking about. Go to Gordon's place, dump his safes in the water. That should smudge up the papers. Just one thing you should be aware of, the safes are equipped with the moisture sensor alarms that will trigger when wet. And of course, we'll be going there when it's raining. 
And that'll be its own little challenge. Yeah, the, the race mission has a fun little exploit that we'll get to, but uh, it is about time for us to call it a night. However, I would be remiss in not showing off a little bit of how the rocket launcher works. So we will pause mission progress right there. But I am going to load up the sandbox for Hollow Rock. Let's get to a nice vantage point and see just what kind of mayhem we can cause with this here rocket launcher. There's a bit of an arc to it, so you want to plan your shots carefully. Aim precisely. And you'll get a feel for the projectile drop with just a little bit of practice. Can we saw you off from a distance? I think we can. Alright, that should do. Almost. I think one more on that side should do it. Yes! <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> it fell straight down. Awesome. Uh, that is a good question. Let's try it. Alright. I want to do this in a way that doesn't kill us. So, what if we do... Do it like this. Not very, unfortunately. <laughs> Best part is that the light still works. Yeah, I know. That thing is really built to last. Also, can we just... Can we appreciate the fucking fire physics in this game? I mean, look at this. Just the way stuff burns and crumbles apart. There's something hypnotic about it. It's just... There is an insane amount of effort in the details in this game, and whatever its issues in terms of occasionally repetitive objectives and, uh, you know, being demanding on your hardware when you really start destroying stuff, there is some really impressive destruction in this game, and just, I, I don't know, this just kind of makes me go to my happy place where no thoughts, head empty, only burning. Yeah, it must be mechanical with the generator up top or something. Just think, Kren, just think of the great work. This is what awaits us when we've collected every barrel of smoke powder and oil in the game, and we'll use that to just one-shot the final boss. It's magical. It's magnificent. <sighs> I love this game. But yeah, we will call it there. Thanks for tuning in, every everyone. Have a good night. Tomorrow night, <laughs> what if Terra bat down but Thief? Oh, that would be awesome. Oh, thanks, Ken, for the head bat. I appreciate that. <laughs> Oh, man. We'll get to that, Karen, I promise. But yeah, tomorrow night we will be playing Shadows of Doubt again. I finally fig figured out what I was doing wrong during the tutorial last time. And really looking to show that off, because there's a lot of stuff that isn't all that well tutorialized, but is interesting that you can do in a lot of different ways to resolve cases. And I will do a better job of showing it off this week than I did last time. But yeah, have a good night, and see you next time.